in the bottom left, we do have Starbuck. Main race, Ors. Oh, main race, Ors? <laughs> main, <laughs> main race, Ork uh, in this series against uh, Todd's human. We do have Todd, Todd the Rod himself. The, the Notorious. Nah, I can't give him that accolade. That's, that's too badass. Oh, no, no. Todd the Rod's fine. All right, you guys know what to do. Get your rods in the chat if you're a Todd fan. And uh, for Starbuck, I want you to get your uh, your um, your wood your wood chucks in the chat. Your wood chucks. Yeah, how much chuck would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood, Rick? I'll tell you that he would chuck wood if he could chuck wood. I'll tell you that much. Mm. Yeah, but he can't chuck wood. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so, so Starbuck's it's erroneous opening... on all accounts. Star Starbucks opening Farseer Headhunters against Todd's opener of Human. We know that Todd's had a hard time against Crip Lord, against Undead. He says that uh, Human can't win, and now the, the Farseer Headhunters uh, or comes out with a good build. Now it's uh, impossible for Human to win. But, mm. you know, Starbucks taking advantage of that. If you're going to vocalize your weaknesses so uh, eloquently, Absolutely. take advantage. Yes, you don't like playing yes, Crip Lord? Yes. I'm playing Crip Lord against you, bro. Don't make that yep. apparent, you know? Yeah. This is for the big bucks, brother. We're already at 2100 on the match arena. Estimation point match arena on the chat if you guys want to check it out as well. We're already there. This is for the big bucks. Why wouldn't he play the strongest possible strategy that he feels is going to work against Todd? Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, Starbuck looking like um, he's going to put on some aggression right away. He's out for blood. You know, he doesn't want noob interviews. He, <laughs> I want the blood. Give me the blood, Eli. <laughs> Gifted blood. sub from Patacana28 to SpookyG09. Showing a Cheers. little bit of love to uh, Spooky G09. A player's forces are under attack. <laughs> Man, I gotta say, I gotta say, I gotta say, what are we going to see from Todd? What are we gonna see? I mean, everyone has a different idea of how to play against the Fire Seed Headhunters. He knows what's coming. What is it? What is he gonna do? So far, three farm, probably a tower after tech at this point. Claws is gonna be excellent for Todd, though. Cannot be uh, overstated how important and impactful these items can be. Yeah, Todd sitting in the main base right now. No tower. In fact, no tech as well. He'll be coming soon, I'm sure. Any moment now. Any moment now. Needs a bit of wood. This looks like a lot of peasants, though. Is this an expo? Three, six, Three farm. nine. Nine is standard. Nine's, okay. nine's fine. Nine's fine. Oh, he's repairing his barracks. <laughs> Todd repaired his barracks a little bit. That's all right. That's all right. Keep it healthy. Keep it healthy. Never know when you're going to need it. He does need the barracks probably for the whole game. So it's very important. Yeah. Okay, now yeah. the train is starting to come in. Two headhunters, a third one on the way. Starbucks putting on this pressure early. No defend just yet. It's way too early for that. Starbuck trying to get some value here. The wolves. Todd's doing a great job of holding this so far. Yeah, you don't want to overcommit your footman too early. I would say at this stage, this has been an overcommitment slightly by Todd. You don't want to let your footman get too low, but he's getting good damage on the headhunters. If you can force Starbuck back early and then, you know, power build a shot possibly, it's going to be all right. But we just see how low the footmen already are. And it, it's going to be tricky if, if Starbuck comes back with a vengeance. Diehard number 16. It, it, he's not going to be able to really do much because the footmen are already all 30% health. Yeah, even the Farseer is very, very low. I do think that Todd's doing this beautifully. Keeping the uh, footies, maybe they take one vo volley on those foots, but then he, he micros them back right away. And right now he doesn't have much because he's been microing them back, but the trades have been efficient. He's not taking that much damage. Farseer picking up... A oh, the deny, though! That water elemental would have been very, very juicy. XP gets denied by Todd the Rod. Great play so far from the French player. He's got to get that shop up, though, and the headhunters are here. I mean, if Todd doesn't get this shop up, this game could end very quickly. If he, if he gets that shop gets canceled, but the militia are being called. Todd respecting the fact that he needs to get that shop up. One peasant going to die in the back. Multitasking not the easiest. Defend online now, though. Okay, so the headhunter is a little bit um, snuffed out for now, at least. But the Archmage, be careful with the Archmage! And, okay, he is for now. A couple of headhunters getting low, though, but Starbuck, of course, is just going to get troll regeneration on tier two to heal up those bad boys so so far pretty good pressure from starbuck gets one footman one peasant at the end of the day and forced an earlier shop it seems like we're gonna have two sanctum from todd no blacksmith quite yet 
Needs to finish that farm up as well. He does send a peasant over that, and the arcane does finish. But the harass has pretty much been done, and I don't see Starbuck diving into that main base anytime soon. He definitely needs to heal, though, and the shop is finished. Double bestiary from Starbuck as well, so it's not going to be oh. that oh, standard play. This might just Starbuck, be Starbuck, more like star-shaped, you know what I mean? Yeah, this might be a little <laughs> bit of a uh, little bit of shenanigans here. Well, Farsu's going to pick up level two, and is this going to be mass raiders? It m could be like two Wind Riders into Mass Raiders, but the cool thing is about this, Starbuck scouted the base already when he killed the peasant building that farm in the back. So he knew there was no blacksmith, which means, of course, there's Dual Sanctum. What's good against Dual Sanctum? Well, of course, air units, because there's no riflemen to counter the air units. So kind of a cool, perhaps, re reactionary play from Starbuck. I'm not sure if he does this every time. But yeah, interesting. It wouldn't work against rifles, but against two Sanctum? Sure. Try it out. Yeah, true. Might be seeing some Wind Riders. TC does come out. Doesn't go to the shop, though, for a speed scroll or any items. And still, Starbuck did already salve up the troll uh, headhunters, and now he's got the troll regen, I think. No, no, still no troll regen upgrade yet. Hmm. I would like to see it. Yeah, two. One Wind Rider for now. The supply is blocked. The burrow waiting as well as the gold for Starbuck. But he probably will build two and then go into some Raiders, I would imagine. It does have a time limit though this strategy from starbuck he needs to get damage done now essentially and todd needs to just buy time creep up the mountain king get casters out and eventually the uh army's not gonna be too strong oh town portal could be forced speed scrolls on the far here, but nice clean locked in surround one footman Ooh. almost gonna go down he wanted to get that footman real badly but almost paid the uh the steel price there how about that yeah, out. almost paying the price, and that wouldn't have been nice, but a nice TP in from the Farseer. He's going to be able to heal up. Wanda the Wind picked up, and yeah, just pumping out the Wyvern. I wonder if he's going to go into more than just the three. It looks oh, like once wow. you break two, you just keep going. So yeah, he's just going to keep building Wind Riders. And Riders are going to be on the Storm, Carson. Until this house you're born. Until this world you're thrown like a... Dog, dog without, a bone. without a home. Yeah, an actor out alone. Riders on the storm. And is it dog without a bone or dog without a home? Uh, dog without a bone, I think. Mm. I don't know. Ask Ask Jimbo. I he I don't think he scouted the wind riders yet. I don't think he knows. Has he got into the base yet? I don't think so. And this could be some devastating damage because the wyverns are sitting. There's a killer on the run right now, dude. On the road. He's yeah, coming. They're, they're sitting way. But where are the wyvern? Are they with the army? Oh, they're at the main. They're at, okay, so now Todd realizes, and he's making breakers. Breakers don't shoot up, last time I checked. The water elementals do, though. So there is enough anti-air to deal with a, like, three, four wind riders. But the issue is, is they're still headhunters. Oh, nice bolt on the wyvern. That's going to be a free pickoff. And like you said, the water elementals with the arc mage with the bolt. It's almost right. a free kill every time. Yeah, Todd's getting this work, but the stomp is pretty big. Defending on the footman. Ooh. Worth a heal scroll, I would even say, for Todd. Worth to get a heal scroll against this chain lightning and save these footmen if possible, but the cyclone's ensuring the Archmage can't get to the shop. Yeah, I'd say it absolutely would have been worth a heal scroll to save these six footmen. I'm now really, they're all, they're all really surprised that Todd's still fighting this. He's going to lose well, all the footmen. he's trading footmen. He's trading footmen for what could be Berserkers, what could be Wind Riders, what could, you know, are already Wind Riders. So he's trading Tier 1 for what is, you know, Tier 2, Tier 3 units soon, so... But, you know, he did oh. certainly uh, overcommit maybe a couple too many. Yeah, I would Don't say maybe chain lightning the as well. TP. He does have a cloak. Does he want to pop oh. that? Okay, he just pops the TP in right away. Another footy. That's all the footies down. And Todd's only got one Wyvern out of that kill. 50 supply for Starbucks. Starbucks, a perfect trade. It killed yeah, he every didn't... all the footies for one Wyvern. I don't even think he killed a headhunter. There's still six headhunters, too. I thought that uh, those footmen were at least going to get three headhunters, but... This is devastating. Big. Okay, workshop. Oh, that's a weird place to be blocked in for Todd. Oh, that's oh, because so the farm at the top. Yeah. You know. Oh, still that's gotta so heal unfortunate. Up. Oh, I, I, I do fear for Todd. He might just get killed here. He could hold on. Todd is excellent at holding in his base, but a tough position to try to hold. This is a very, very bad position. Half the army's blocked in. The breakers on the front just get decimated by this mass range. All of the orc can hit this, and Starbuck looking like he's about to hit a crisp, clean lock. On game number one, Todd in trouble here. He's still blocked in, and until he kills this farm, which will supp uh, not supply block him, but lower the supply, he yeah. can't do anything. Okay, now he gets out. Archmage also super low on mana. Needs to get to that shop. 
An expansion coming up. Exactly what Starbuck needs. And he probably needs a Spirit Lodge. What do you know? He's building the Spirit Lodge as well. Checking all the boxes right now is Starbuck. Because, of course, if Todd holds on, like I said, even if he's lost a lot, if he holds on, this army will not work later on for Starbuck. So he's got a transition. And an Expo and a Spirit Lodge is perfect. Absolutely perfect. You can go into Kodos. You can go into Grunts. You can go into Shamans. And he will have all the answers. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, Todd needs to creep up this Mountain King. Um, to level 3. Uh, needs the Mountain King at level 3 to have a chance in this fight. Especially, he needs to get rid of these uh, Headhunters. But the air, there's still real no answer uh, to 4 Wyvern. Just a, a Water Elemental. Now the rifle's starting to pour in. Bear and mana, Flying though. Machines as well. Maybe Todd can get enough time to catch up into this. Yeah, he only needs maybe 5 Flying Machines. Maybe a couple more, maybe seven, eight flying machines, which, you know, seems like a lot, but it doesn't take very long at all to build them. They're like, what, they take 15 seconds to build, 20 seconds to build. They're very quick. Also, thank you to uh, Perfectian for the first time. Prime, appreciate you. Thank you very much. How's it going? A player's forces are under attack. Okay, Todd going up. It's got an invuln and a potion of greater man on this Mountain King. He'll also hit level three if he can finish off this creep camp. Flying machine going to scout what's going on. TC hits four. No heal scrolls just yet. Okay, now Starbuck buys one at the shop. He's got a speed scroll as well. Not much on that corn chieftain, though. Just an invuln. Other than that, a naked cow. Mountain King getting hit level three. That's exactly what Todd needs. And honestly, Todd getting really close to level four Archmage as well. Would love that aura. Yeah, of course. He would generally go for that aura level two on level three, but he needed the level two elemental and elementals against the uh, Wind Riders. So, oh, the item was not gobbled up. Look, oh, oh. He didn't even finish the camp. Yeah. Cobalt Taskmaster's still item. alive, yeah. But well worth it to not lose all of his peasants. And he's got seven flying machines. And he's about to get an eighth. That's more than enough to deal with these four wind riders, and it's even less supply, so. The lame begins. The towers. Three coming up for Starbuck. We'll see how Todd deals with this. It's gonna go into the slightly later game. Don't know how long, but if Todd can get a counter expansion up, that would be the ideal move now and of course he is in a position where he'd probably win a fight if they took it yeah i definitely think that the onus is on starbuck to transition out of this now because the headhunters are going to get decimated by the mountain king and the ground units and then the flying yeah. machines he's caught up like definitely and now the timing all oh, the towers are about to finish and todd's going to be a little bit disappointed about that because maybe there was a window here for him to get some damage but the flying machine's going to go down at least the two that are in. Oh, but the rest of them find the Wyvern. And I don't think Starbuck's paying attention. A bunch of the Flying uh, Wyvern going to go down as Todd takes a fight on the ground with the Orc army on the top right side of Mountain King. Ooh, a stomp coming in just in time before that clap. But the Flying Machines clean up all the Wyvern. And that's a big yeah. chunk to Starbuck's supply. Todd's even microing them right now, too. So he kills all of them. He gets out with three, which is enough to deter probably Starbuck from going for any more. Oh, this Bat Rider. Is he could get all four. No, Todd very well aware of his flying machine's position it's tough the reason why you normally see dragon hawks as opposed to a, or maybe not usually but you do sometimes is because bat riders against flying machines if you have a hundred supply flying machines and one bat rider collides you could lose a hundred supply against one bat which is tough so you got to split them but overall and flying machines are better the bat box backs off town triple tower up at the expansion starbuck also mining and the transition does seem to be Grunt and Raider and Shaman. Back to standard. Back to standard, baby. He's still got the Headhunters from the early game. He's still got all six of them. So, you know, not as though, even though Todd dealt with those Wind Riders, he's still in a very rough position. Absolutely. Yeah, 50 supply for Starbucks. Same thing for Todd. Going to be going to the shop for an Invuln and maybe a Heal Scroll. Picks up the Heal Scroll. Invuln probably on the Archmage. Archmage is so naked, by the way. Like a stomp focus if, he, if Todd's not careful. Yeah. TP out, yeah. Todd, Todd knows he needs to be taking a fight right now, and Starbuck knows that he needs to just be running away because he's on two base. Absolutely the right plays from both players, but who gets the upper hand? Of course, Starbuck does because he's got the expansion. Todd meeting up with this army. Early bolts on that TC just to use that mana. The clap. Oh, the clap is decent. Actually hits a lot of the units. Starbuck's yeah, in a good. bit of trouble. He might have to pop that invuln on TC very early. He's blocked by his own units. Invuln on the Mountain King. Going to go for the Farseer now. 
I do think that Todd should just go for the units in this case, but he is going for the Farseer. Clap. Maybe force a TP. The bolt has to come in. I, I think that the TP is going to have to come in for Starbuck. Okay, he does TP out. That's another TP, though. That's 700 gold used, and I do think a lot of... Oh, two more units going to go down. Todd finding the perfect engagement there. He did lose some units himself, yeah. but these two stragglers at the end and the fact that he forced two town portals, not only going to fill uh, buy enough space for him to get his own counter expansion up, but going to even the uh, at least the gold bank for now because Starbuck of course already broke up keep Todd used his greater mana and his inbound so he's got to be careful to not eat a stomp he could perhaps lose there's no town portal oh he might be over committing yeah I do think this is a bit of an over commitment from Todd he didn't actually trade the greatest off of that TP he did waste the TP though but it's going to be very close the Mountain King forces the invis but well ensnared you could see the Mountain yeah. King and the Mountain King goes down and Todd is buying time for an expansion and he doesn't have the expansion up right now like Starbuck does. 57 supply. Todd's hemorrhaging 38. This was a, definitely an overextension right now, especially when you're trying to build an expansion behind this. A yeah. bit of a mistake from Todd. Yeah, he should have been. He wanted to go for that hero kill. If he had gotten one of those hero kills, he would have been in a great position. But this eats a stomp on the Mountain King, and Starbuck might be closing this out. Todd did a good job of trying to fight back, but I think after he forced that second TP, he should have just been happy with what he was given he wanted to buy space more space for his expansion to get up safely but uh yeah just he did not have the uh wherewithal to continue pushing a player's forces are under attack and sorks coming out mountain king still not in this fight and this is a tough it's gonna be a tough hold starbuck he's got a potion of mana on this uh torn chieftain as well Almost level 5, 5 as well. A couple more units will do it. He's getting these units where the purge is in the back of this water elemental. He's not going to yet do it, but well played, called by Todd. And a one nothing lead for Starbuck in this series so far. And um, yeah, this this group is, is stacked, man. This is a stacked yeah. group. I've seen the new maps quite a lot here, Rick. Yeah, we certainly are. A lot of Autumn Leaves, a lot of Tidehunters. Players uh, enjoy these maps. It's good to see. In the top left, we do have Todd the Rod currently down a game, trying to come back in this best of three in the bottom right. We do have Starbuck and... Yeah, Todd obviously struggling in this matchup. We have seen top humans definitely struggle in this matchup. Cruncher, mm -hmm. you know, having a rough go as well. Uh, not, a lot, not a lot of humans have figured out yeah, a so way to stop so rough of a go this. that we're not actually uh, seeing him in this whole tournament. Yeah, he just quit. Yeah, he's just done. Last of our champions. We're losing all our stars, man. Losing all our stars. But uh yeah. Starbucks not gonna change too much up here. Six headhunters, harassment. The harassment was very good before. I think Todd took a bit too much damage in the early. We normally see a tech a lot sooner. Just chill um, till you have defend. Just chill till you have defend. Don't commit HP in until you have defend. We saw Todd committed so much footman health. What did he gain from it? He didn't get Archmage level 2 off of it. It's not like he was able to win a fight and then get a green camp and get the aura earlier. No, he just traded health, didn't get anything from trading the health, and then once defend popped, he was already 50% health on all of his footmen. No, you just literally AFK in your base, scout with the Archmage to make sure the orc isn't taking camps away from you aggressively, wait till you have defend, and then do what Todd did. But after the early game like that, there's just no coming back because you just... You have no map control because your footmen are also damaged. Yeah, 100% agree with you there. All right, Militia going to be called. Todd's going to creep his sea giant camp. The Farseer, of course, going to come out. We know we're going to see from Starbuck most likely. If he goes for two beasts the first game, I would imagine he'll do the same second game. And why not? I mean, of course, if you're off racing a Starbuck, I would say it is the more sort of consistent style to go for the two beasts. Um, into fast expansion with towers. I think it's totally great. Totally great. We see the same from, from Starshape to off races Orc. I mean, you have to take less direct fights. You can play more strategical, which, of course, if you're playing smart strategically with good map movement, it doesn't matter what race you're playing. If you have good map movement, you have good map movement. So, All right, Todd, is he going to sit in his base? He seems to be unsure of where the Farseer is, but now he's ready. I like this from Todd already. The positioning is much better. Mm. Just chill. Just chill. It's a much different approach than what he did in the last game, too. Like, going across the map on Autumn Leaves, really overextending a lot, taking a lot of damage on the footies. In this case, you don't really have yeah. to. The tech is in very nice this time. 
And yeah, right now, Starbucks actually going for the Archmage. This might be good for Todd because less damage on the footies uh, becomes less problematic. I would say it's a lot easier to just deal with the Archmage and almost level two game being fed. The Wolves do oh, get denied though. no. This is too much damage on the Archmage. He was trading one for one before, but there was a Headhunter and a Wolves on, and Wolves on the Archmage, so... It's tough. It's such a delicate early game. It's, it's tough to know exactly how to micro it, but yeah, there you go. Now you don't take damage on the footies, but now your Archmage is one health. It's tough. It's a tough position, which is why you normally see people three farm tech, not two farm, and get a tower up so that this can't happen, so that you can just sit in your base. Because if you have the tower up, that cannot happen, which has happened. But it did. And now the Archmage low, two footmen low, three footmen low, and again we're seeing it, Rick, and it's just, it's just an unwinnable position. I'm sorry to say it. Just can't do it. Yeah, this Talk, is yeah. really, really tough. The Arcane's going to come up, but it's all for naught. I mean, the Archmage is probably just going to die to Wolves here. The Farseer diving in, and yeah, that's going to be it for the Archmage. The Harass is just too strong. Level 2 on the Farseer as well. And right now, Todd's just summoning a bunch of Militia trying to hold, but he's, he's all over the place right now. Blacksmith is going to go down, and maybe he pumps out a rifle. He needs something to be able to come back into this. Well played, and he just taps out Starbuck too much with the Farseer Harass. Yeah, well well played to, to Starbuck. He